Hello, hello. Yes, the correct answer is BL. When you wire in series, you get more BL. And I kind of want to talk a little bit about why this is true. So let's say you've got a coil. Okay, and that one is a, say that's like a, a single one ohm coil, okay? And then we're going to compare that versus say a four ohm I'm just adding a lot more windings to it okay so <clears throat> the magnet and the flux essentially has to interact with the flux coming off this coil think about it almost in a way of like the magnetism is penetrating the coil and when you got a thicker wire it doesn't penetrate as well when you have thinner wire, it, it penetrates better. And so what happens is uh, if you've got a longer coil, let's say we stretch out the coil, and uh, after we stretch out the coils, we get like, well, it wouldn't be quite that long. We get like this, okay? So you've got the single one ohm coil. When you stretch it out, it's uh, shorter and fatter. And then the longer coil... This one's going to give you more BL because it's essentially um, easier to saturate almost with the magnetic flux. <clears throat> so when you wire in series, what you're doing, let's say, I'll do a different color here. So if you've got two coils and they're this and this, when you wire them in series, you connect them together and they make a longer, a longer winding. And uh, instead of both of them being shortened side by side. When they're shortened side by side, it's almost like... Let me draw it again. See about when they're shortened side by side, it's almost like they're a thicker single coil. Either way, <clears throat> I'm not really sure if this diagram helps or not. But the point is, is that, yeah, BL wiring it in series, you get more windings... Uh, longer length in the gap and that ends up with more BL now BL is essentially a measurement of think about a measurement of the pull of the magnet on the coil push and pull on the coil so it's how much that coil and the magnet are interacting with each other and pushing and pulling on each other okay and this is this is kind of cool because you ever been to a rock concert? I think I was at an outdoor concert, and they just had, like, two 15s. There was, like, 100 people there, 200 people there. And uh, I could be 20 feet away, and I could feel, man, the, the punchiness from those subs. And those subs... Okay, so I'm going to draw a couple uh, speakers real quick. Your car audio sub. Something kind of like this. It's got a big magnet on the back. Uh, what? Relatively small cones. Sometimes they're 12s, 15s, even 18s. Now, concert subs are much bigger. We'll just sit, we'll just draw 18s because a lot of times you'll see a lot of... A lot of 18s are typically about the smallest they usually run at concerts. But they have this tiny motor on them. Um... And they are punchy. You could be, like I said, I, I was about 20 feet away. I was getting knocked in the chest. And I can't imagine, I can't tell you the last time I was 20 feet away from a car and getting knocked in the chest, like, with punchiness. Yeah, I, I could tell you times when I was, you know, 20 feet away and I could feel the bass throughout my whole body. But it's just different. And that's because these, the, the stadium subs, they have a very high ohm load. So some of them might be 16, 32 ohms and then with impedance rise they could be hundreds hundreds um you know you got 10 20 30 times rise they could be just outrageous and so they have a very small winding long 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 winding they have a lot of bl the car audio they have to make these massive magnets because they're actually low in bl so they, they make these huge magnets to try to actually make up for that and gain additional BL. Okay. Some of you guys totally nailed that. You totally figured that out.
Um, I did find one comment. Someone said that uh, they wired from parallel to series, and they didn't really notice that much of a loss, and that's exactly true. I mean, if you've got a... Some amps uh, will do about 50% of power at 4 ohms versus 1 ohm. If you've got 50% of power... Um, and you lose, so you lose essentially 3 dB from the loss of power, but you gain a half a dB, and you gain more control over your sub, more accuracy, uh, it can it can actually, you may not really be able to tell the difference. Remember, 5 to 10 dB is what it takes to about feel twice the intensity. So if you're losing, you know, 2.5, maybe 3 dB, uh, you might feel like you're losing... 20 to 50 percent and that that's not really that much especially if you gain bl and you gain a little bit more accuracy and punchiness uh you may not really feel like you've lost that much now, i know some amps are maybe only like 30 to 40 percent power at um four ohms versus one ohm but that's still not that much difference you might you might be down at you know 40 b loss versus uh or maybe even three and a half db loss so maybe that makes an extra db difference anyways there is one thing i want to talk about real quick too since we're on the topic of bl okay so this is the sundown this is the u version 2 series and i'm going to start and i'm going to mention something about this and i i want to pose this question so i know patrick you got someone to mention patrick from robot underground uh, yeah, he is exactly right in the fact that, the you know, wiring in series, you get more BL. Uh, he did talk about for a while they're just trying to put, you know, higher ohm load um, voice coils in subs just to get more BL out of it. And that actually launches me into this specific question. Okay, so here we are looking at, this is the UV2 um 12 inch you got a dual four and dual two and what i want to specifically point out is the bl okay so the dual four is 31.12 bl and the dual two is 27.269 also notice the moving mass i think i accidentally give me x drawing moving mass is uh, let's see here, 358.6 versus 356.5. So it's actually less weight with the dual four. However, the most important thing here, uh, especially since you have more BL, are is the sensitivity at the bottom. I'm trying to get my drawing. I take a while. Okay. So notice the sensitivity. 85, we'll just round up 0.2 for the dual two. And 84.4 for the dual four. Now these TS specs um, like this are always measured in series. That's like an industry standard. I guess there might be some some small little mom and pop places that are just buying catalog subs and might just be posting the specs they get from the factory. And who knows what those are? But the reason they measure them in series is because you get that extra BL. So here's the question. The BL is definitely stronger on the dual four versus the dual two. Why then? And even the cone is lighter. We saw the moving mass on all the soft parts is lighter on the dual four. So why is the dual four about a little over half a dB? So what, 0.7 dB less sensitivity? And in fact, let's go look real quick at the 15. Once again. The BL, 26.7 versus 31.1. Moving mass, 438 versus 431. So once again, it's still lighter with the 15, with the dual 4. And the sensitivity is, look at that, half a dB down. So the dual 4, even though it has more BL, and it's wired in series versus the dual 2 wired in series, it's half a dB down. Now we'll go and look at this one, the 18, real quick. And we're going to look at the same exact thing. Moving mass, look, it weighs a little bit less. It's got significantly more BL. And it is, once again, 
This one's about 0.7 dB down. Now, what you would normally expect, so we wired from uh, 1 ohm to 4 ohms, we gained half a dB. So you should expect about, um, with the same power, which is how these are measured, right? 1 watt, 1 meter. You should expect about, from a, a dual 2 to a dual 4, half a dB. Um, sorry, not half dB, a, a quarter of a dB. So going from 1 to 4 is half a dB. Think about going from 4 to 8, right? Your wire in series it should be about a quarter of a dB. So not only are you not a quarter dB louder, you're actually about 0.7 dB quieter. I think the 15 only had about half a dB difference. But why? Why is that? This is going to be the next secret I'm going to share, um, especially since we, we got some people that knew about the BL thing in the comments, which is great. I hope you guys can crack this one. Uh, I will probably, this is going to take a little bit to get that video together. I wanted to get this video out, so I didn't have time to get the information on that one put, put together, and this video is getting a little long. So, I hope to get that video out in the next couple days as well. Guys, I love you. We're all in this together, man. I, I love the comments, too. A lot of positivity in the comments below. A lot of technical help. Um, keep it up. Keep treating each other nice. Sometimes those Facebook forums just, you know, I just see the new guys just get crushed. And I'm like, dude, I had those questions at one point in time. Why are, why are you crushing them? And I, I actually, you know, ask the dumb questions. If, if, if you look through, you could probably still see my, some of my dumb questions in those Facebook forums from years past. Anyway, guys, I, I love you, and uh, have an awesome week. All right, take care. Cheers.